print email Facebook Twitter more no US Embassy concerns about Andrew Hastie's use of secret briefing diplomatic relations have not been harmed by liberal backbencher Andrew Hastie's dramatic speech on Tuesday, the United States Embassy says. Mr. Hastie told Parliament earlier this week he had led a delegation to the United States last month that discussed espionage and foreign interference with U.S. counterparts. He detailed allegations that Chinese-Australian businessman Chao Chak Wing had co-conspired to bribe the President of the United Nations General Assembly to attend a conference in China. Mr. Hastie chairs Parliament's Joint Committee on Intelligence and Security and also used his speech to claim the Chinese Communist Party is working covertly to interfere with Australia's media, universities and political processes. Some in the Federal Labour Party have questioned his actions. Shadow Attorney General Mark Dreyfus said he would not dream of ever using information that he had obtained from briefings by agencies like the FBI or the CIA. There is a question of trust. That's obvious to anyone who's looking on here, Mr. Dreyfus said. Media player, space to play, M to mute, left and right to seek. Oh oh colon oh 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 colon 4900 colon oh 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 colon 49 Labour leader Bill Shorten also used question time yesterday to ask the Prime Minister about Mr. Hastie's actions. Malcolm Turnbull said he was not pre-warned about Mr. Hastie's speech, but despite Labour suggesting Mr. Hastie may have upset the ally he cited during the speech. The U.S. Embassy has made it clear it is not uncomfortable with his actions. An embassy spokesperson has told the ABC diplomatic relations between the two nations are as strong as ever. The United States has no better ally or friend than Australia, a statement said. Labor's Anthony Byrne, who is deputy chair of the Intelligence and Security Committee, also strongly supported Mr. Hastie when he tabled documents relating to Chao Chak Wing on Tuesday night. Leave is most definitely granted in support of my friend and colleague, the member for Canning, Mr. Byrne said. Home Affairs Minister Peter Dutton praised Mr. Hastie, saying he had the nation's best interests at heart. He is a patriot of this country, he is a person of fine character, Mr. Dutton said. Print email Facebook Twitter